This is the man who was the first naval aviator to fly twice the speed of sound in a Navy airplane. He was among the final 32 candidates for the Project Mercury program. He was also the senior ranking officer at Camp Vegas, tasked with providing the guidelines and setting the rules for other prisoners in the camp to follow. Ever the guardian of standards, where did he get the strength, the ability, the power? I grew up in a family where there was a strong emphasis on physical and mental activity. I was able to develop a body that could endure all challenges I had to face in my life. I loved being a test pilot. It was exciting to determine why an aircraft acted a certain way. I loved analyzing it. It was a tremendous mental challenge. Perhaps his toughest challenge came in Vietnam when he was put in the hot box, a dark, unventilated, unlighted cell, for 60 days. To remain sane required focus. So, Bill decided to compose a poem in his head. He's a big fan of Sir Walter Scott's ability to create order and rhythm out of words. Scott had genius, but I had time. I said to myself, I'm going to compose a perfect iambic pentameter poem in my head. And I did it. When I came back, they asked me to speak at the joint session of the Tennessee State Legislature. I quoted that poem that I had kept in my head all those years. It became the state poem of Tennessee.